I've never really seen a movie that was um, pro-life and I just thought it was extremely empowering. I thought it was a very empowering film, it was really moving. I enjoyed how it was based on a true story um, and also how it sort of exposed the truths and the rawness of like the abortion industry. It was very difficult to watch, it was confronting and challenging. Unplanned is a 2019 American film directed by Carrie Solomon based on the memoir of the same name by Abby Johnson. The film follows Johnson as she moves up the ranks of a Planned Parenthood facility, becoming a clinic director until one day, after witnessing an abortion, decides to leave and become a pro-life activist. The film was released on the 29th of March and has so far tripled its production budget in the United States. There have only been so many screenings in Australia. The film has yet to be released here, but the Unshackled team was invited to one in a location that was kept secret to avoid disturbances from pro-abortion activists. The film was well received by crowds. There's a real sense of like forgiveness pervading throughout. You could see it underlying and this real sense of hope. No, nothing really judgmental about it or anything, which was really good because everyone has made mistakes in life and we're all called if like to forgive others and everything. So I thought that was really good. I think, I think the first or first bit of the scene um, when she was um, having her first abortion, I think that really affected me emotionally. Um, but I was glad I sort of that that was featured in the film because it did sort of show me what really happens. Um, there was a scene where. Um, she had an abortion, so Abby had an abortion, and it was her second one. And it was, um, it wasn't just the typical one where she went to the clinic, she had the pill, um, and she had to take a few consecutive pills, and they told her it wasn't going to be painful, and it would be natural, um, but she was in excruciating pain, and you could see the, um, the actual baby, like, come out of her. And even though it was, they call it like just lumps of cells, that's the human being. And to see just the pain she went through as well, because she was lied to and she knew that as well. So that was very hard to watch. This film just brings out the awareness of the reality of, of these procedures and, and what happens. And uh, the thing. That, that strikes me most is that when, when talking to people about this in society, not that it's talked about that much, but um, people do talk about it as if it's just uh, such a normal thing um, and that it's, it's not a big deal and it's, it's like it's all kind of brushed under the carpet and it's, uh, you know, sanitised and, um, and I love this film because it just, it just shows the reality and, and the horror. I do have a family member, um, she has herself had abortion, um, which has affected her not just at that point when she did have it, but her whole life, she always lives with that, um, that weight and that just experience of having that. Um, but she has learned to work through it and I think also having people around her to support her has helped. And what issues would you like to see tackle in films like this in the future? Um, I think pro-life more as well because this is something, obviously it's the first film I've ever seen or heard of, but issues on chastity as well because even before abortion comes about, um, people think that that's just something you can do as a solution, but there are other steps um, that you can take before that too. So. Yeah, I think chastity is something that's um, really ridiculed in this day and age, So, but it's actually something very beautiful, so that would be interesting to see as well. Yeah, so I think a push on you know, really empowering men to step up and be men, so a culture that's promoting masculinity and making them step up to the plate to help women when these situations arise and to do the right thing and to also prevent getting into these uh, situations by producing a culture of men and manlyhood 
that way, instead of just band-aiding the effect, we can really get to the root causes and fix our society. Well, I think one of the most important issues uh, for us now is freedom of speech. And it's becoming harder and harder to talk about these things publicly. Um, the fact that this issue is so controversial, um, you know, it, it's becoming more and more difficult to speak out against um, popular public opinion or what the media is telling us we should think or what um, certain radical groups uh, think tell us that we should think or what the politicians tell us we should think. Um, so, um, you know, I think freedom of speech is, is very quickly diminishing in this country and it's, uh, it's dying and we need to stand up and, and do something about that. What issues would you like to see tackled in future film projects? Let us know in the comments and thanks for watching.